Hello and welcome to Just a Tiny Amount, your channel for all things stop motion. I'm Gordon Craig, and this week I have been mostly working on the animated music video for the band Candy Thief. When I've not been doing that, I've been experimenting with the gorilla puppet that we started on this channel. In this video, I want to give you an update on both of these things. Okay, let's start with a music video. So the good news is all of the principal photography is finished, so all of the main shots are completed. The bad news is that I have entered the less glamorous side of stop motion animation, and I'm now cleaning up everything in Photoshop. This can be a bit laborious, but once you get into the rhythm of things, it goes okay. If we compare the storyboard to the end result, you can see that I managed to stay reasonably true to the original idea for most shots. There was one shot where I had to change things completely. This was where the puppet was falling through the floor. After initial experimentation, it turned out that it was going to be quite a lot of effort for not a particularly great result. The alternative idea of having the puppet slip and fall through worked out really well. Other than cleaning up all of the images, the main thing outstanding is to replace the green screen with the final background. Also, the idea is to have the floating shards of the monolith float past in some shots, so I need to add those in as well. These can have some live footage included in the composition. In general, I'm really pleased with the way things have turned out. The puppet, I have to admit, has been a bit of a nightmare to work with. It's quite limited in its movements and sometimes struggles to hold a position. Also, it turns out jewelry wire is way too springy to animate. Sometimes when taking a break from Photoshop, I've managed to get some work done on the gorilla puppet that we started. There's a few things you should note. First of all, I've added some milli put to the hands and feet. These are to encourage the fingers and toes to bend in the right place. It also adds a bit of shape to the palm and to the heels. Also, you may not be able to tell, but there's a little blob in the middle of his chest. There's a corresponding bit on the back. This is actually a pinch point, which is something I decided to put in after I'd finished the last video. A pinch point is essentially a firm place where you can hold the puppet whilst you're moving other limbs and stuff. It's essentially a cylinder of milliput that attaches to the spine underneath his chest. You may also notice that I've got a bit of KNS tube on the end of the neck. This is so I can attach the head. I started off by making some quick sculpts to see what the head should look like. These 3D sketches are often referred to as maquettes. What quickly became apparent is that the two main features are the eyebrows and the mouth. I really wanted this puppet to have a very expressive face, and the eyebrows would be a key feature of this. Using a balsa wood skull as the base, I've been experimenting with wire eyebrows. I've covered these with sheets of latex to see what it looks like with the eyebrows in the various positions. In early experiments, I used material cut out from a pair of tights to reinforce this latex. This made it too stiff and the eyebrows always returned to their original position. I think the reinforced latex will work well for the palms of the hands and the soles of the feet. I'm hoping the latex alone will be strong enough to handle all of the manhandling that will go on during animation. I'm going to mix some acrylic paint in with the next batch to add some colour to the skin. I've been shaping foam to bulk out the rest of the head in the same way that I did for the body. I'm slightly dreading the next step, which would be to cover the whole thing in fur. I can imagine my workshop turning into a big gluey, hairy mess. Anyway, that's where I've got up to at the moment. I'll give you updates in future videos. I'm Gordon Craig. This is just a tiny amount, and I shall see you next week.